Hello, to, hello there, YouTube verse. Hello, welcome. This is the Mr. and Mrs. Sports Show, but we changed the name of our channel. It's now the Mr. and Mrs. Lifecast. Uh, we decided to make some changes to the format. We're going to uh, do some sh videos that are shorter. We were doing like half hour videos. Now we're going to do like 10 to 20 minutes and we're going to uh, incorporate some different things that we do. We're going to do some uh, broadcasts about uh, wine drinking, you know, uh, eating, food, cooking, uh, pet care, because we do have a little bulldog over there that uh, has some interesting things that she goes through that I think you guys would want to see. So uh, we're going to expand the, the we're going to expand the universe a little bit. What do you think about that, Mrs. I think that's good. It's coming to a slow time in sports after the Super Bowl. So therefore, let's get a more uh, wide variety of our interests at. We like to do a lot of different things. So share some of our passions. And he, uh, the husband loves to cook. We both like to drink some wine. So we'll see what you think and if you have any comments. Yeah, I mean, basically, we're just opening up. So everything's up for grabs here because... Uh... I don't think I can sit here. I don't think I have the attention span to talk about the same thing week after week after week and every single broadcast. So we're going to talk about some different things. and We're going to open it up and uh, give you a lot more variety. Uh, so you'll definitely want this weekend to be looking at our channel because we're going to drop a ton of new videos and add a ton of content to the channel. I know right now we only have a couple of videos on there, but uh, we're about to change that really quick this weekend. So by the time the Super Bowl broadcasts, uh, there should be a ton of content on there and a whole bunch of different things for whatever you know you're into. Uh, the other thing, and look at me, I got a fancy little format sheet, so you see I'm taking this a little bit serious. Uh, and uh, also, I'm not a front runner because see, I got my Bucks hat on. I'm, I'm not an idiot. I know they're not in the Super Bowl. I know what two teams it is. What do you think, Mrs.? Well, I'm glad it's going to be San Francisco is in it. Sorry, your bucks aren't in it, but you know you did have a, you did have a very good year, and you should be very proud. Yeah, well, you know, so there's that. There is that, and uh, we'll see what happens with Casey and uh, San Francisco. It's going to be interesting for sure. Um, so what we're going to do, and, and again, if you can, please like, subscribe, or comment. Uh, we really need the comments. We like I said before, we're trying to make this this show and this channel as interactive as possible. Uh, we've always been told by people we should have probably do something like this because we do a lot of interesting things and our, our interactions together can get quite interesting and unique. So that's why we're doing this. But uh, we're going to just go right now into uh, just talking about the uh, awards yesterday. The NFL did do an award show yesterday and they did uh, give out what was left of what, what awards hadn't been named before. Uh, Lamar Jackson won the MVP. It's not really a surprise. Um, I don't know. I mean, there were some other guys I think maybe could have uh, been a good pick as well, but not not a big deal there. And uh, Baker Mayfield from the Bucks won Comeback Player of the Year. Uh, as much as I'm happy for a Buck to get the award, I really think that uh, Demar Hamlin should have got that award. I mean, I don't know if you kind of basically die on the field and then you come back to play in any capacity the next season. I don't see how you can call any comeback better than that. So I don't know. Um, what do you think? I would agree. I would agree with you, but we're very happy that he is healthy and able to play and what a comeback and, you know, thank God that he was able to do that. Um, we're happy for Baker Mayfield. So yeah. maybe it'll push him on to having a great season next year for your Bucks. Yeah, well. hopefully it doesn't cost the Bucks any more money to re-sign him because they won that award. It's going to cost <laughs> them more money. Then that's another reason to give it to, uh, to DeMar. But, yeah, I watched that game last year live as it was happening, and I thought the guy was, was done. I mean, I thought he had passed. I mean, I thought he was just laying motionless on that field. I thought, I thought I'd literally watch somebody die in the field. So I, I don't know how he doesn't get that award, but – I guess because he didn't play every single game uh, this this season, uh, maybe that factored in. But he would have been my pick if I had a vote. Obviously, who decides on the NFL awards? How... It might be the writers, same as the Hall of Fame. I don't know mm -hmm. if they have a committee. I just think whoever it was. I don't think they. I think that one was. Eh, I don't know if I agree with that one. I mean, the MVP vote, you know, could have gone a couple of different ways. But if they want to give another one to Lamar, that's fine. But 
that ain't translating into championships from what I've seen. He did have a great season, just not, you yeah, know, a great postseason. And that's the thing. I mean, MVP is a regular season award, but, man, I mean, when a guy has gets an award like that and then they, they crap out in the playoffs, that's, uh, I don't know about that. I think that's kind of, I wish there was a way to factor it in, but I understand it's a regular season award. Oh, and by the way, the Chargers are still in Los Angeles. They did not move back to San Diego. Like Darn, said they really week. should move back to San Diego. You really want so them in San Diego. I mean, if you're if anybody That's... here watches in San Diego, she's on your side. <laughs> she thinks that Washington should still be the Redskins. She thinks that the uh, Chargers should still be in San Diego. She don't want to change anything. Yeah, I can be, she a, wishes I can the be stadium... a little stubborn, set in my ways. So she yes. wishes the stadium still uh, didn't have brand names on them. So yes, you know, that's true. You don't want anything to change. You you want the NFL players to go back to wearing those leather-looking helmets. <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> yeah, you sure? I don't know. Uh, so just to you know, recap our picks uh, for the Super Bowl. We last week we made our picks. Um, I believe. What did what did you pick? I picked San Francisco 49ers with Brock Purdy as the quarterback. Yeah. Why Why was that? You just think they're they're too loaded or? I think they have a lot of offensive weapons, so I think they can run. They're very well-rounded. Run, pass, they have a good quarterback. They have a good defense. Yeah. Did you, any concern about the uh, the field conditions? Because, uh, the you know, the Chiefs actually got to practice where the game is being held in, in, in uh, the stadium. But uh, the 49ers had to practice on the UNLV uh, surface there, which I guess there were some, some reports that, that field wasn't as good as the you know the one they're gonna actually play the Super Bowl on. I mean, do, do you have any concerns about that? About that being a disadvantage to the 49ers practicing and everything? Um, that could be a slight disadvantage, but I don't think it's gonna make any real difference. Yeah. Why is it one team got to practice on the field and the other one didn't? That beats me. I mean, to me, the fair thing would have been let them each take turns practicing on the uh, on the the actual field they're gonna play the Super Bowl on, and you know the actual stadium, but. I don't know why they do that. I mean, I guess they want to keep the teams as far away from each other as possible until the game. I don't know, but that just doesn't seem fair. I mean, it, it's you can't expect UNLV to have the same kind of field conditions for practicing as where they're actually going to play the game. I mean, it's an NFL stadium versus a practice field for, for a college team. The college team is not even well known for being a football powerhouse. So I, I don't. I think that was a little messed up. Maybe they'll change that in the future. Is it grass versus turf on the two different ones? Or they is said it's basically uh, some kind of turf on top of some grass, on top of some dirt. There's some weird combination they do because, you know, it's kind of hard to grow grass on a, on a field in Vegas. So right. they got to do special things to, to do something close. Uh, so, yeah. So, I mean, so just as a recap, I picked uh, the Chiefs. I still think that the NFL wants them to be the ones that win. And I know that the way that these officials call the games can be subject to their marching order, so to speak. I don't think they're all in a, in a room together and they're like, you do this, you do that. But I think there are ways where the league can get the, the, a subtle message to the referees about how they want certain things called. I mean, you, you know, we want to see more pass interference, less pass interference, more roughing the quarterback, less roughing the quarterback. Uh, you combine that with the experience and the fact that you've got Mahomes, who's becoming one of the best quarterbacks ever, mm -hmm. versus a guy like Purdy. And, you know, despite all the success the team's had for the 49ers, people keep forgetting he's only in his second full year as a, as a player. I mean, he was just drafted a couple of years ago. Right. Um, I think that that's going to be a difference. Somebody who's played in multiple Super Bowls versus somebody who is still pretty wet behind the ears. I, I still think all those factors – are enough where the Chiefs will figure out a way. I mean, that's what they do. They figure out a way to win the games, even if they're overmatched. So I think this will be no different, and I just think the NFL really wants their Taylor Swift moment. And all these reports about Taylor Swift's got a concert this weekend in Japan and how she's going to get over. She'll get over. She'll get there. She has not missed it. She's been to all these other games, scrubby games in Buffalo and God knows where in the cold. You think she's not showing up for the, the shiniest game of the year? She's showing up for that. She didn't show up for all those other games to not show up for this game. She's going to be there at the biggest one. She didn't show up to all the little parties to not show up for the big party. She's got her own jet. I'm sure the jet goes at the speed of sound. She'll be there. I mean, you think there's any chance she doesn't make it? No, she will, def she will definitely be there. And I do, my heart wants San Francisco. I don't know when the last time they won, they've won, but I feel like my heart says that. My brain is a little bit like yours. I have a feeling Kansas City is going to pull it out because that's... 
you know, if it comes down to, you know, last minute or under two minutes and you have Mahomes with the ball and a big catch to Kelsey, I can kind of picture it, but I'm trying to just go with my heart. But I mean, your know. heart's with Swifty. You're a Swifty and, and <laughs> you're an underground Swifty. You just want Taylor Swift to have her moment. You're like, you want to be like, oh, I want to seem like the professional lady here. I don't want him to think I'm like, you know, some wannabe uh, sports person. I, I'm going to. I want uh, I want the 49ers to win because they deserve it because they're the best football team. Man, you know deep down you want the Chiefs. You want your Swifty moment, just like most my of America. Moment. No, you'll be over there doing your little Swifty dance. Ah, you, I man, can't you don't dance. fool me none. <laughs> Neither can she. So I guess y'all even. I cannot dance. Have you seen Taylor Swift dance? She can't either. <laughs> Only she's a cajillionaire, So go figure. There you go. Uh, so yeah. So you know. We did our little amateur hour picks, so I guess it's time for the professional here. We did promise last week that we would have a uh, we would have Topenga, the French bulldog, the superstar of the show, was going to do the picks. So I'm going to go get her and give her give her over here. Uh, we have a very scientific method of how we're going to do this. We got over here two bowls of food, just a little bit of food. It's actually pumpkin. Uh, one of uh, Topenga's favorite treats. We put one in pumpkin each bowl. Pumpkin puree. Yes, it's one of uh, Topanga's favorite things to just to have as a, a treat. She's going to basically stand here, and she's going to go to one bowl or the other. Whichever bowl she goes to first, that's Topanga's prediction for the win. There you go. So, so we'll see. I'm going to put this camera here. We'll let Topanga uh, do an introduction and let you guys know how she's doing. And then... We're probably going to have to hold this because this thing is tilted too much. Okay. Right, I'll do it. Mommy will handle Topanga. Come here, Panga. Your public awaits. Yep, here she is. There you go. Hold her up here, Mommy. There we go. Everybody, it's me, Topanga. I'm the star of the show. You've been hearing the amateurs say enough stuff today. It's time for me to tell you guys who's going to win the game. You guys want to bet money. I'm the one you bet with. What I pick is what's going to happen. You know, there's a lot of people that uh, don't know what to pick, and they're listening to all these talking heads. But you got to listen to Topanga. It's a two. I know that there's a two point favorite for the Niners, but the only thing that matters is what I pick. So let's go. Let me go, mommy. I'm gonna pick which one. Which one okay. you want first? Who's it gonna be? There you go. It's the <laughs> Chiefs. Take a look there. What do you think, Mommy? The expert has weighed in. She just went to the closer bowl. I don't know. Is she really an expert? She's an expert, man. That's her job. So that's what I do. I don't know. I think here she's... you go. You guys got a nice picture of the penguin's butt? I think she's going to go to the it's a 49ers nice butt. afterwards. Oh, uh, well, the only thing that matters is the one she went to first. She went to the Chiefs. The penguin's pick is the Chiefs. Um, I pick the Chiefs. You know, usually I'm the one that's right out of these two, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I she have said, to hear Mommy, that you, all the time. You can get the butt, Mommy. She said, you get the butt. I am picking the Chiefs. I'll still kiss her butt. It's okay. There you go. So she she's like, kiss my butt. butt. I win. So there you go, guys. We gave you the pick. Um, again, please like, subscribe, subscribe and comment. And comment. Uh, we've got a ton of con content coming this weekend. I am going to be... Uh, we are going to be doing uh, several uh, different things. We're going to be cooking a bunch of Super Bowl meals so that you guys can see uh, some of the stuff we come up with. We're pretty creative. And most importantly, all the meals that we're going to do are things that you can do quickly. They're not going to eat up a lot of your time. They're going to be delicious. Our motto here when we do food is quick and delish. That's our motto. And when it comes to the wines, we are the type. We're going to show you wines that we like. We're going to talk about things such as caring for the wines. We're going to talk about things like uh, uh, wines that won't give you a headache because there's histamines in some wines. But also, we're not going to do wines that are too expensive. We're not going to go above like $50, $60 like that. Uh, if we did, we'll let you know if it's some special situation. But we want, want to show you guys things, and we want you to interact with us. So please comment anytime you see our video. Let us know what you think. If you got any questions, if you got something you want us to, to address or cover, we can do it all. It's all open and on the table right now. And we're going to have a ton of life, ha life hacks and life videos that you're going to see. Uh, we're going to have more videos with Topanga because she's the superstar after all. And we just need you all to like, subscribe, comment, and tune in. And we thank you for uh, listening and watching us. Thanks. Bye. Later.